Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. We are live here in Mission Control Houston at the International Space Station's Flight Control Room at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Texas. This view coming to you live from the International Space Station is of the interior of Dragon Endeavor. Endeavor will be carrying home the Crew-8 astronauts and cosmonaut today with an undocking that's scheduled at approximately 4.05 p.m. Central 5.05 p.m. Eastern. Dragon Endeavour arrived at the International Space Station 232 days ago. Houston, Comcheck on the RF Big Loop. We've completed, completed the configuration. Oh, no, it looks like you're trying to... The on the big loop has you loud and clear. Yeah, Roger that. I couldn't tell if you were trying to hear me or not. Uh, go ahead and initiate a comp check with uh, MCCX. And you just heard some of the procedures taking place to get ready for that undock. Dragon... SpaceX Dragon on the big loop, comp check. Dragon, we've got you on the big loop loud and clear. And sinking back on LIO, your go for LIO cartridge 2 install and IMV duct teardown. 2.103, 3.1, how copy? Copy, LIO cartridge 2, IMV duct teardown, we'll go. Those you just heard are voices of our flight director on console today, Paul Kanya, alongside NASA astronaut Matt Dominic. Dragon Endeavour arrived at the International Space Station 232 days ago. In total, the spacecraft has spent 236 days in space by the time it splashes down off the coast of Florida. Splashdown is scheduled for Friday, October 25th at approximately 2.29 a.m. Central Time, 3.29 a.m. Eastern, and again, that is off the coast of Florida. Currently, teams here in Mission Control Houston and the teams in Hawthorne are working together in preparation for the undocking of the spacecraft. That's once again coming up today at 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern. Meanwhile, the crew aboard the space station are preparing for the same thing. Live cartridge 2 was in the active slot, seals removed and put back in the active slot. SpaceX copy. And coming to you live are views of Dragon Endeavour's exterior as it's docked to the International Space Station. The space station curr is currently above the east coast or east side of Asia.
We have four crew members returning to Earth. That include NASA astronauts Commander Matt Dominic, NASA astronaut and Commander Matt Dominic, pilot Michael Barrett, mission specialist Jeanette Epps, alongside Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gerbankin. Once again, splashdown is scheduled for Friday, October 25th at 2.29 a.m. Eastern, 3.29 a.m. Central. Crew 8 took 3,776 orbits of our Earth and they traveled 100,132 <laughs> statute miles. Once again, views are coming to you live from Dragon Endeavor, docked outside the International Space Station that will be carrying the Crew 8 astronauts and cosmonaut home today with an undocking that's scheduled at approximately 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern. You're now getting another look inside with the crew there on your screen. You can see Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grabenkin as he gets secure in his seat, ready to get home. NASA astronaut Michael Barrett assisting him in the process. And to the far right of your screen, you'll also see NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps working with her colleague and NASA astronaut commander Matt Dominic as she gets suited up in her seat ready for undock. The remaining crew members will have a chance to do the same and get into their flight suits <clears throat> once they are in their seats and completed all of their procedures to get ready for undock. The crew will remain in their spacesuits through undocking. Again, that undocking is taking place at approximately 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern. The crew will be able to duff their suits, but they're anticipating a splashdown on Friday morning at 2.29 a.m. Central, 3.29 a.m. Eastern off the coast of Florida. Between that time, they will be off duty in Dragon Endeavor.
Once the undock command is set, it takes only a few minutes for the hooks to open and fully detach from drag Dragon from the space station. Station Eastern Space Ground 2 for a Node 2 camera. Hey, Neil, heard you on 2. Do you like a Node 2 cam? Yeah, I'd like to get a Node 2 camera set up and facing the hatch. And work. And that's the uh, zenith hatch. As mentioned, it only takes a few minutes for the hooks to open and fully detach Dragon from the space station. Once that happens, there'll be a few short firings of the thrusters. We're a few minutes ahead of schedule. Just standing by your go for hatch closure. Dragon hatch closure. Stand by one. Well, go. As you heard, we're gearing up for hatch closure. And Houston Station on two, node two, camera one. Roger. Once Dragon fully detaches itself from the space station, there will be a few short firings of the thrusters before Dragon starts to back away. Those are called the Dragon undock burns. Then we'll proceed into the departure burns, continuing to move away from the Zenith port and the space-facing side of the International Space Station. Even though Crew-8 will be detached from the space station at that time, we'll still be in integrated operations with the International Space Station as the crew will still be in the approach ellipsoid and keep out sphere. These are the invisible boundaries that we use in mission control to monitor the arriving and departing vi or vi of visiting spacecraft. Once the crew and Dragon exit the approach ellipsoid, we will be out of the joint operations and SpaceX will continue to control the rest of the flight with Dragon autonomously flying the entire way home. Meanwhile, Mission Control will continue to monitor the crew of astronauts and cosmonaut while we will not be on the air after we exit the approach ellipsoid, we will continue to provide periodic updates through our mission audio coverage, which you can find on nasa.gov. Once again, this view is of Dragon Endeavor, which will be bringing Crew 8 home after they will have spent a total of three, 236 days in space.
currently teams here in Mission Control and the teams in Hawthorne are working together in preparation for the undocking of the spacecraft that's once again coming up at 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern. Station Houston, Space Ground 2 for Butch and uh, Dragon Prep Procedure. This view coming to you live of the is of the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at NASA's Johnson Space Center. We have Flight Director Paul Kanya on console today. Just checking, make sure you're done with uh, through step three decimal six of two decimal one zero three. Dragon departure prep through hatch close. And this view is coming to you live of a Dragon Endeavor docked to the International Space Station. Crew 8 continues to conduct and complete procedures. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Thanks, Switch. And Neil, uh, update on the uh Bush deployed a new 1.0 serial number 5136 for the Zenith IMV duct. Uh, we couldn't find the 1.0 that was called out in the procedure. Roger. Aboard the International Space Station, we have Commander Sonny Williams of NASA, along with NASA astronaut Nick Haig, Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexei Ovchinin, Roscosmos cosmonaut Ivan Wagner, and NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore. We also have NASA astronaut Nick Haig, Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grobanov, and NASA astronaut Don Pettit. The Crew 9 crew that recently. Just waiting on one last step here before we give you the go for hatch closure, uh, so keep standing by. And we just heard that. No problem. Uh, we're just a little bit ahead of schedule on our side. Happy to, happy to hang out. And we are getting ready to get that go for hatch closure. The Crew-9 crew that recently arrived to the space station will remain on board for approximately five months where they will continue to conduct science investigations and technology demonstrations.
Dragon SpaceX, your go for hatch closure, 2.103, 3.8. And with that communication we just heard, we are go for hatch closure. Dragon Endeavour will be carrying the Crew-8 astronauts and cosmonaut home today with an undocking that's scheduled at approximately 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern. As Crew-9 conducts that science for the next five months, you can see some of that here um, with the crew stowage that you see on board Dragon. Uh, the crew worked to load these cargo bags as well as the cold payloads, bringing back that critical research. Copy hatch closed, and we're gonna sequence the state machine to reflect that. We see the CPRV open. And with that, we heard that the hatch has closed. With all, crew all four crew members inside Dragon. Closest to your screen, you see Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grabenkin. And on the furthest part of your screen, the crew member that you see in the flight suit over there is NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps. Meanwhile, Commander Matt Dominic and NASA astronaut Michael Barrett continue to conduct procedures. Say again, Butch. For hatch closure, I just, uh, I'm up to step four now. It looks like I can go to 5.3. Are you giving me to continue there and hold at 5.3? Check it. If you're just joining us at approximately 2.24 p.m. Central, 3.24 p.m. Eastern, the hatch for Crew 8's Dragon Endeavor has closed. Meanwhile, we will prepare for procedures as we get ready for undocking. Hey, Butch, uh, Houston, back with you on two. You're good to uh, go up to step five decimal three. Hey, go for five decimal three. Here we go. Hey, 
And uh, Butch, that's up to five decimal three. Once the crew undocks today, they will have spent approximately 236 days in space. And they're preparing to splash down off the coast of Florida on Friday. We anticipate that undocking will happen here in just a little bit at 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern, with our coverage going live at 3.45 p.m. Central, 4.45 p.m. Eastern. We're taking another look inside Dragon Endeavor as we prepare to undock from the International Space Station. We now have three out of the four crew members in their suits getting ready to be seated as NASA astronaut Michael Barrett. Splashdown of Crew 8 is scheduled for Friday, October 25th at approximately 2.29 a.m. Central, 3.29 a.m. Eastern, off the coast of Florida. Currently, teams here in Mission Control Houston and the teams in Hawthorne are working together in preparation for the undocking of the spacecraft.
Jason Station on two is uh, photos of the uh, PMA seals are on SSC 12. Roger. Crew 8 conducted new science to prepare for human exploration beyond low Earth orbit. Experiments included using stem cells to create organoid models to study diseases. They also studied the effects of microgravity and UV radiation on plants at a cellular level. And the crew also tested whether wearing pressure cuffs on the legs could prevent fluid shifts to reduce health problems in astronauts. These are just a few of more than the 200 scientific experiments and technology demonstrations taking place that took place during their mission. Once the undock command is set for the crew, it takes a few minutes for the hooks to open and fully detach Dragon from the spacecraft, from the space station. The Crew-8 mission launched aboard the SpaceX's Dragon Crew spacecraft in March of this year. And this Dragon spacecraft is named Endeavour. It previously supported NASA's Demo-2, Crew-2, and Crew-6, as well as Axiom Space's AX-1 flights to and from the International Space Station. You are looking live inside Crew 8's Dragon Endeavor, where you see now all four crew members suited up in their flight suits, ready to undock from the International Space Station. Again, that undocking is taking place at 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern.
at the Houston station for regenerate a urine uh, urine processor. And Don, your go if you're looking for a go in that activity. Looking for a go. You got it. Once the hooks are open and fully detached Dragon from the space station, there will be a few short firings of the thrusters. And that's before Dragon starts to back away. And those are called the Dragon undock burns. We'll then proceed into the departure burns, continuing, continuing to move away from the Zenith port and space facing side of the International Space Station. Houston. Station on two for a red exercise. Go ahead. Yes, uh, FE5 is uh, ready to begin a red exercise, and the Note 3 camera is uh, set up for downlink. Okay, and we got a good view. And uh, is there going to be a need for a uh, privatized uh, loop or or not for this uh, exercise? Uh, nope, it'll be uh, unsupported here on the ground, but we like the video. Copy that. Hey, thanks, Dragon on the Big Loop City Council. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. That was a good suit of comm check. Had you loud and clear, how me? Loud and clear. And with that, Matt, I've got a few updates for you. Uh, first, on the thermal control system, we commanded the hex bypass to allow crew control. It's on the max cooling setting right now. Uh, quick reminder that cabin temp control is through procedure 4.080 until pre-chill prior to deorbit. How copy? Dragon. Okay, and with that, the next event I'm tracking is suit leak checks. Uh, when you're ready, you're go for 4.011. Copy that. We are go for 4.011. Stay back. Dragon on the big loop, uh, we have I got to that good icon check on those the crew. And Dragon, I missed your last. Say again. Just reporting in 5.2, we got good icon check for all the crew, and we are procedure complete with suit downing, moving on to suit leak checks. SpaceX copies. This view coming to you live is from the International Space Station. It's of Dragon Endeavor. Endeavor will be carrying the Crew 8 astronauts and cosmonaut home today. With an undocking that's scheduled at approximately 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern. Splashdown is scheduled for Friday, October 25th at approximately 2.29 a.m. Central, 3.29 a.m. Eastern off the coast of Florida. Next Dragon on the big loop. Uh, Mike went out uh, with his settings for Dragon to ground. How did you read him? We did not copy anything on Dragon to ground. Let us take another look at the config here. Uh, hold off on any more comm checks for now.
second copies, and with that, we'll keep pushing the leak check uh, while you guys double the seat together. Even though Dragon Endeavor will be detached from the space station, we will still be in integrated operations with the International Space Station, as the crew will still be in the approach ellipsoid and keep out sphere. Okay, uh, closing hatch. These are invisible boundaries that we use in Mission Control Houston to monitor the arriving and departing of visiting spacecraft. Once the crew and Dragon exit the approach ellipsoid, we will be out of joint operations and SpaceX will continue to control the rest of the flight with Dragon autonomously, autonomously flying the entire way home. Meanwhile, standby one, we've got a command here on the Nitrox system. Standby one. Dragon standing by. Houston Station on two for your transfer. Hey, Don, can you meet me on uh, Space to Ground 4, please? We like him right here, Neil. We'll take one more look inside Dragon Endeavor as we prepare to wrap up our hatch closure coverage this afternoon. Again, the hatch between Dragon and the International Space Station is now closed with all the departing crew members inside. That hatch closed at 2.24 p.m. Central. APAS equalization valve are closed ready for Dragon IDA vestibule depress. And you want me to continue with step seven? And that was a call for vestibule de decompress and that will take place as one of the procedures for undocking. Closest to your camera, you see Ross Cosmos cosmonaut, Alexander Grabenkin, followed by followed by NASA astronaut Michael Barrett, NASA astronaut Matt Dominic, and NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps. We anticipate that docking will happen here in just a little bit at 4.05 p.m. Central, 5.05 p.m. Eastern, with coverage going live at 3.45 p.m. Central, 4.45 p.m. Eastern. That coverage will be joint coverage with NASA here in Mission Control Houston, as well as and, uh, SpaceX. Go to, uh, continue the procedure through step seven. Over seven, thanks. We will be back shortly, but for now, this is Mission Control Houston.